Hi, this is Jamie Magritte coming to you from my craft table. Got a new mat for my table, so I'm trying it out. Um, I want to show you how I made this card here. It's pretty simple, but just a little bit of uh, masking here. And I did add a couple leaves freehand, but I'm not going to bother with this one. Let, let's just get started. What we need is a basket weave. Um, embossing folder. This is a basket weave dynamic textured impressions embossing folder. I'm going to be using from the bike ride these the two little basket pieces. You could probably use the flowers that are in here, but I chose to do use different ones. I'm going to use um, the daisies. And just the thanks part, I cut that apart so the for understanding wasn't part of it. And so I'm going to use the daisies in that part. Okay, so let me put these aside. I've already got them all mounted. You're also going to need the third from the largest of the scalloped uh, circle uh, framelits. And the two and a quarter inch circle punch. A scrap of Whisper White that's large enough to be punched with a circle punch. A base of white which is five and a half by eight and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter. A piece of uh, lovely lipstick this is a little bit smaller than this one, but it's um, five and a quarter by four. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, oh, we might as well do this part and get the big shot out of the way. Let's pull it up here. We're going to take our uh, framelit and our lovely lipstick piece. And out of the center of it, we're going to cut out this framelit. So my sandwich is going to be the Big Shot platform, the thin die adapter, one cutting plate, my paper, my die centered on there. It's almost centered. It's a little bit lower than center, but it's centered side to side another sam uh, plate on top and run it through. Okay, I'm going to need both pieces. So we can put the die away. And we're going to bring back in this piece and the embossing folder. it in there. Now the top of the embossing folder is the side with the Stampin' Up! logo. This piece of pattern or uh, piece of paper doesn't matter which is top or bottom uh, because there's no pattern on it. Oh, I've got some smooths on there. Must be my plates were dirty. So I'm going to turn it over. Alright. So for the embossing folder since it's a thick one our sandwich is a big shot platform. Our embossing folder with the paper in it and one plate. And run that through. Oops, it would help if I made sure it was lined up. So we're done with the big shot. All right, let's put this aside for now. We actually could probably glue that right onto our card base, so we might as well do that. Okay, 
to make sure it's centered in there. Bear, stop itching. Alright, now we're going to bring this piece in and we're going to do our stamping. We're going to start with the Memento ink. Basket outline. Which one's the outline? I think it's this one. Find out in a minute, won't I? It's this one. Okay, so we're going to stamp it. Well, that's definitely the center one, so. Stamp it right a little bit in the center. Perfect. Okay, then we're going to take the thanks since we're right here with the black ink and stamp that just below that. Then we're going to take. Oh, I did. I mounted the flowers that come with that set, so we'll go ahead and stamp them. I forgot what I was doing. Stamp this so that's flowing over the edge. Okay. Done with the black ink. Bring in the crumb cake. Let's do the basket. Colored part. Line that up. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so since I'm using these other stamps, I forgot I mounted them. Um, I'm going to bring in the lovely lipstick ink pad and the garden green ink pad. All right, and let's do the flowers, the lovely lipstick. Smooth all over them. Let's try that again. Later, tap. All right. We're going to bring in the green to do the other flowers. Or the leaves. There's one flower that didn't color for some reason. Got my marker here, so we'll just color it in with the marker. Did it not perfect since the rest of it didn't stamp perfectly anyway? Okay, then we're going to punch this out with the uh, circle punch.
Okay, we're gonna glue this to the uh, lovely lipstick uh, scallop circle that we punched out of the center of the front. Grab a couple dimensionals. The dimensionals on the back. Make sure it's going right side up. And center that. In the middle. All right, and that's our card for today. The one I did uh, previous used the uh, vase flowers, varied vase, and I stamped them twice. And I did add a couple more leaves. This one uses the flowers from the bike uh, from the um, bike ride set. Well, thank you so much for joining me at my craft table. I hope you have a great rest of your day.